What's up, guys? If you're trying to send Gmail from your self-hosted N8N and you're getting stuck somewhere between Google Oscopes and redirect URI errors, you are not alone. This is one of the most confusing setups, but by the end of this video, I'll show you how it works. I'm gonna walk you through the exact steps to get Gmail working inside N8N. I'll show you how to fix three of the biggest mistakes people make, and then we'll also send a live test email using the Gmail node. So let's get started. All right, guys, let's dive into it. So um, basically you're just gonna need three things. One is a Google account, which I'm assuming you already have. Another is a uh, Google Cloud Console access, which I've linked here and I'll actually add to the description as well. And then finally, uh, N8N instance that's running publicly. So I do have another video, which I will link, link somewhere here and you can just check that out if you want to self-host N8N. I highly recommend it. It's like $6 a month beats the $24 a month that N8N cloud charges. You're going to use your Google account first. So you're going to log into console.cloud.google.com. And this is completely free, so you don't have to pay anything, at least not for the local version, especially if you're just using it for your own use cases. Um, so you'll see I have a, a project already set up here, but we're going to create a new project. So you're going to click up here, you're going to click on new project, and then we're just going to call this uh, test project for Gmail. You can call it whatever you like. We're going to click on create. You can leave the rest of the stuff as whatever you want. So you'll see over here, it's creating this test project. So I'm going to select this project. There's actually a couple things we have to do before we go and create credentials. So if we go back to N8N over here, um, I'm gonna go back to Canvas. You see, I have a Gmail node set up here. And typically what you do is uh, you'd come here, edit the credentials. And I've already created this account, but I'm just gonna delete this and we'll start from scratch. So I'm gonna do create new credential. And you'll see we have this redirect URL, which is what Google is going to use. And then we have client ID and client secret. So we need all three things for this to work properly. So uh, we come back here and first thing you want to do is actually uh, search for API services. We're going to go over to library and then we're going to scroll down and select the Gmail API. And then you want to select enable. This is going to ensure that the API works properly. So this is going to take like a few seconds. Great. That's good. Now we're going to go over we're, So we're going to stay on this screen, but we're going to go over to credentials and then we're going to uh, first click on configure consent screen. So we'll just get started. So this is basically Google asking for a little bit of inf information. Um, this is only really necessary if your app, you're gonna, if other people are going to be using this app, but if it's just you, then it's fine to put whatever you want. So I'm gonna put N8N, and then typically you would select your email here, click next. We're gonna do internal audience because this is only gonna be something we're gonna use internally. Um, if you want anyone to be able to use this login per se, you would select external, but for our use case, this doesn't really matter. So we're going to click on next and then email addresses. I'm just going to put the same so you can put whatever your email address is. Click next, click continue, click create processing. Sweet. So that looks good. Um, now we're going to go over to clients and then this is where we're going to set up our client ID as well as uh, the client secret and then some of the other stuff. So you're gonna see this big create client button here. Just uh, click that over there. Application type, we're gonna do web application because we're, gonna, we're doing uh, N8N. You're gonna call this N8N. You can call this whatever you like. I'm just putting N8N. So these are the two areas where you actually have to make sure you get the right information because this is typically where the problems come up. So one is adding the URI for the authorized JavaScript origins. So all you're going to do is go back to your N8N and you're going to just copy the first part of your N8N instance domain name. 
So not none of this stuff, just from like HTTPS all the way to the end of your domain. You're gonna come back here and you're just gonna paste that here. Make sure you don't have a uh, forward slash at the end. So I'm gonna remove that. And then you're just gonna click add URI. Uh, actually, you're not gonna click that. <laughs> you're gonna delete that. And just make sure you have this. Next up is the authorized redirect URIs, URIs. And for this, you're gonna come back here and this is what N8N provides here. So you're gonna just copy this exactly how it is. So I'm gonna copy, we're gonna come back here, add URI, and then you're just gonna paste that. So just make sure this matches exactly what's listed here because typically what I've seen happen is these uh, URLs are actually not matching and then it breaks the entire integration. And then it says it may take five minutes to a few hours for settings to take effect. From my experience, it ends up being pretty immediate, but uh, they probably have a disclaimer here for a certain reason. So I'm just gonna click on create. Now it's gonna give you a couple of things here, right? Your client ID, your client secret, which is exactly what we need. And then you can also download this if you wanna save it. Um, obviously one thing to keep in mind is do not expose this to anyone because if someone has this information, they can actually use your integration and you know, there are a lot of bad actors out there. So just be careful of that. Um, I'm going to probably change or I'm going to delete this afterwards, but it's fine if you see mine right now. So all I want you to do is click on this neat little copy client ID, come back to N8N and we're just going to paste this here. Same with client secret, copy it, come back, paste it, boom. And then you'll see we get this sign in with Google now, which is exactly what we want. So I'm gonna just click okay here. We're gonna go back to N8N and we're gonna actually sign in with Google. So before you do that, I would just click save and then you can do sign in with Google. It's gonna ask you to sign into your account. Typically it's the one that uh, you use to log into Google Cloud Console. So I'm gonna do Saad Naveed. And then it's gonna ask you for some permissions, be able to read, manage, a bunch of different things, and you wanna click on allow. Boom, connection successful. So if you see this screen, then everything worked perfectly. Then you're gonna come back to N8N, and we're gonna do a quick live demo just to make sure this works. So now you see my Gmail account is selected. We're gonna do send a message. I'm gonna send a message to my personal email. Actually, we can do it to my uh, business email as well. So sawdffastclick.ai. I'm just gonna say hello, text, hello. We'll do, hey, I made it, baby. And we're gonna click execute step. So if you see this output, everything was successful and just to prove it to you, we'll go to my Gmail and see if we got that Gmail, cool. Hey, I made a baby, bam. Uh, one final thing is if you see this, uh, this email was sent automatically with N8N, you can actually remove this, it's kind of annoying, but you can remove this by clicking add option, append N8N attribution, and then just turn it off. So a little bit of a bonus for you guys as well. Um, and that's it guys. I hope that video was extremely useful for you. If this helped you get Gmail working, amazing. I know some of you want it done right the first time, but maybe you're trying to set up more complex workflows for your business. If you'd rather not waste hours Googling and debugging, you can book a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. I'll put the link down below. Uh, also, please subscribe. It helps the channel grow and it helps me make videos. Thanks so much.